it was Mayo and Galway, both Western like neighbors, uh, country people, uh, in the Division One final because Division Two, Division One finals on the same day. Before the game was played between Mayo and Galway, they sad, suddenly played Jason Aldean. What song would they play from Jason Aldean? I don't know. I, I I know who that is, but I I don't know that I could even name a song from him. Okay. Oh God. Okay. So the, so the song was "She's Country," <laughs> and it like it's a great song, but it came on and it was funny because as you go into setting, you could just see there is a type of and this. I, thank God, Ethel's not here, but she'll agree with me. Um, there's a type of where the girls come in from those kind of regions. There's a kind of there's like a cookie cutter kind of pace of your know, thing they come through. They have the um the county jersey, which you know they've washed, they've ironed, they put it on the county jersey over jeans. Usually got cowboy boots or they've got like you know, kind of desert boots or something else like you're wearing. No, okay, seriously, <laughs> trust me, this is West of Ireland. You're seven. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they come in and there's a real vibe. It's just kind of a sameness as you come in. So when they put on she's country people started to sing, clap and dance. And it was like, I know the guy who's playing the music. I know the DJ <laughs> and he's from Dublin and he's put it on to like, you know, humiliate the, 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 the country people, but people like them. So I don't know. Keen, sorry, you, you can respond for your people. Yeah, we still have running water in this country. We, you were here a couple of weeks ago. We have electricity, we have running water. I, I didn't go to the West now. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we have been we have been electrified and we have running water in this part of the world. Thanks be to God. Like uh, Andrew, uh, we, so all I can say is that we, like in the states, you probably well, we know we call them like in Ireland we call them rednecks or hillbillies, and that's kind cold of cheese, like, Alan, cold cheese, cold cheese, yeah, cold cheese from agriculture. So cold cheese, but you like uh, it's like you know rednecks or hillbillies. So it is that kind of vibe and country music. I mean. Garth Brooks came to our... Keen, how many nights did um, Garth Brooks sell out in Crow Park? He did... Supposed to do seven in 2014, did five, and my younger brother was at one of the nights the last time he was there. Five nights. <clears throat> and he was with 50, 60,000 people. Garth Brooks. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of friends in both places. So anyway... Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'm just... I'm, 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 I'm country. Right. Uh, <laughs> before we go away... Um, United are true to the uh, FA Cup final. They win 7-6 on penalties. But more important than that, most importantly, if I do this, who am I? <coughs> who am I? Be an Arsenal supporter, I suppose. Well, Arsenal talking, of course. That's well done, Keith. Uh, so, Arsenal <coughs> face a huge showdown this Wednesday uh, with Manchester City. Now, everything's on the line. I, I, we, we've backed... Arsenal win the league this year. Call it for them. We never get it wrong. I still think they're going to win the league. Um, Keen, I'm going to end with you. I'm going to start off with Andrew and Tumen, first of all. Andrew, what do they need to do to win on Wednesday? And what are the chances to win on Wednesday? And I do understand you're a Man United fan and you hate Man City. Uh, I definitely hope Arsenal do win because um, I don't want all the pressure on United denying Manchester City a treble. Um, Honestly, I don't see it happening. Uh, this is the Arsenal that we know and love. They crumble. They don't have the character to see it through, unlike 20 years ago when they were a side with backbone. Um, honestly, they just need, they simply need to trust their best players, their young, utterly thrilling attacking lineup, And they have Gabriel Jesus back up front, so that is obviously going to help them. But um, they need to put full faith in, in Bukayo Saka in Gabriel Martinelli. These players can, can tear Manchester City apart if they are given full licence to run with the ball. If they clam up, if they are allowed to get nervous, if they're told to try and outthink Manchester City, it's not going to work. Nobody will outthink Pep Guardiola. He thinks more than any other manager. So don't try and outthink him. Just simply remember, they are top of the table. They've got the players who can do it. Um, do they have the, char the character and mentality? Well, you've got to start somewhere. You don't just simply get it. You've got to earn it. And this is the biggest game that I think Arsenal will have in probably the last 
decade, possibly 15, 20 years going forwards as well. Win this, anything could happen, lose it, and it's going to be a long, long way back to build a confidence. They can, but I don't think they will. Okay, Andrew, um, you know, they, they, they have two games more plays than Man City, but again, we know that that's not an advantage. They are five points ahead. A draw is not going to really do them any good because they're playing at home. They need a win. What do you need to do and what's your take on it? Oh, man. I, I think they just can't give up an early goal. I, if they give up an early goal, then I think they're in trouble and it would just be very difficult for them to fight back because City will just get so organized in the back. And so I think that's the biggest key. Conversely, you know, I you, you say that a draw, they really need a win. But to be quite honest, I think even if they get a draw – uh, if they lose, they're in trouble because their next two games are against Chelsea and Newcastle. And they have, I mean, that's a quite a tough three game stretch there. I know Chelsea aren't what they usually have been, but um, it's still a, a London Derby for them as well. And so I think if they get out with a draw in this, but they, it's really, for me, it's like a three game span for them. If they, they don't have any wiggle room against city. They really need to win against city, but even if they draw, I think that's okay. As long as they get results in those next two games, but I mean, when you're under pressure and you feel like the title is starting to slip from your grasp and then your next three games are against your direct contender, Chelsea and Newcastle, who are flying right now, that's that doesn't bode well for Arsenal. Yeah, I mean, that, that, is, that is definitely the case because, I mean, when you look, the, again, away to, I'd like to say it's got home, excuse me, it's away to Man City on Wednesday night. Um, and then you got Chelsea at home, Newcastle away. Brighton at home, yeah. Brighton as far as yeah, and not, not as far as at that moment could be actually trying to play to stay in the top flight. So that could be a really tough one. Keen, last word to you on this. Um, <clears throat> you know, do they have the legs? Because again, as as both guys have said, the, the talent is there, the ability is there. Maybe it's just like that little bit of self belief to get it over the line. Yeah, I think so. I think it's definitely self belief. They definitely have the legs. There's no question mm -hmm. of that. They, they've they've just kind of fallen asleep at the wheel now over the last couple of weeks that the results over the last two weekends haven't been great fine get the points out of the Liverpool game but the 2-0 up last weekend against West Ham and then ending up uh, finishing or sorry 2-0 up against Liverpool and then it just it, it's all fallen apart for them in the last couple of weeks they have shown earlier in the season that they can recover from heavy defeats and and defeats and bounce back, but they're really going to have to bounce back in a, in a dramatic way on Wednesday night. If they could get three points out of it, it would be absolutely magnificent. I think if they got something out of it, they keep the lead. And I know, as the lads have said there, they've got Chelsea next. Chelsea aren't what they are. I think Arsenal will be Chelsea. There's no question that I understand it's a London derby, but I do think they will be Chelsea. Newcastle, given what they've done today, they're on a really good run of form. They'll want to try and solidify third place in the league and try and climb a little bit higher if they can at all. Uh, so they will be in good form. But I do feel if they were, if Arsenal were to nick nick a win on, on Thursday night or even get a point out of the game, but don't lose the game. Get something out of it. Three points would be wonderful. A point if at all possible, but definitely don't lose it and, and take your chances after that because I do feel that they have enough to beat Chelsea the following weekend, and then again take a chance against an informed Newcastle the following weekend. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they, do, they will have to face Brighton. Brighton are doing well. Brighton have mm. two games on hand, for example, on Liverpool, who are both them. Uh, they're only two points behind Liverpool, so one win, and they're <clears> in seventh <throat> position. And this could be just this is well, we know Klopp is gone. Klopp, Klopp won't be there come September. Just trust on that. But uh, United as well, they're they're fighting hard. So Newcastle want to try and win. They're I think. Andrew, correct. Their level of points. You don't have a, a game in hand, correct? And yes. Sorry. sorry. Yes. Yes. Game yeah. in hand. So a game in hand, but so a win for them. They got a superb goal difference. Great uh, defensive. Well, I think it's only nine goals all season, which is terrific from them. Um, uh, oh, sorry. They're, they're, sorry, that's 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 incorrect. My apologies. They, they've got a, they, they 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 have strength of defense, but of course. Well, let's talk about Maguire and De Gea. De Gea. Um, but again, this is a chance for us to get the win. Well, we can see what's up. So I'll just ask everyone, um, starting, Keen, starting off with you straight away, uh, win, lose, or draw? Uh, draw. Draw. Andrew Reese? Same. 
Paint would say Manchester City win. Ooh, okay. All right. Okay.